The Chicago Bears have found their guy to mold Justin Fields and the Bears offense. They have just hired Luke Getze, QB coach and passing game coordinator from the Green Bay Packers. He will now be the Chicago Bears offensive coordinator. What's going on, guys? I'm back with the Chicago Bears all season update videos. There's going to be a lot of these in the coming days talking about all the changes the Bears make on their staff. So if you want all the latest updates on the Bears, definitely be sure to subscribe to this channel. But in today's video, I'll be talking about the Bears new offensive coordinator and arguably the most important part of the Bears entire coaching staff. No offense to Matt Eberflus, no offense to anybody else on this coaching staff. But if Justin Fields doesn't take steps forward in his development, if her offense doesn't go to that next level this upcoming season, nothing else actually matters. We've seen it in the NFL over and over again. Okay, the top defenses in the NFL, if they're supported by bad offenses, they don't go anywhere in the playoffs. So it was absolutely crucial that the Bears get this higher right, that Matt Eberflus gets this higher right, and he thinks that Luke Getzey from the Green Bay Packers is the man for that job, okay? The man that can revive the struggling Chicago Bears offense and the man that can get Justin Fields to where he has to be to be a great quarterback in this league. Now, looking at this hire, guys, okay, looking at what people have to say about him, looking at what the players that have played under him have said about him, looking at what the coaches that have coached with him have said about him, there's a lot of stuff to like about this hire, okay? I will say, though, that it is extremely risky, okay? Because we're hiring a guy in Luke Getze who hasn't called plays before in the NFL. So I know that's going to be an instant turnoff to a lot of Bears fans, okay? Because you might have wanted a guy that already had, you know, experience calling plays in the NFL. But I will say, man, that everyone starts somewhere, okay? Every smart coordinator in this league, every smart head coach in this league, at one point, they were a first-time play caller, a first-time coach, like... That's how you actually go up in this league, right? Like by having experience, by having success of what you did before. I mean, in this case, Luke Getze had a lot of success being QB coach, being passing game coordinator, and now he got the promotion he deserves to offensive coordinator to actually run his own offense and, you know, now finally call plays for the first time. So I understand that's pretty scary to a lot of Bears fans getting an unproven guy like this. But on the flip side, that means the upside is ridiculously high, okay? This guy hasn't had the chance to have his own offense, and now that he does, you know, great things potentially could come out of it because he's been around some of the smartest people in the NFL and has been crucial in designing some of the most successful offenses also in the NFL with the Green Bay Packers. So let me give you guys a quick rundown of his coaching career so far. So he started out coaching in 2007, 2008 at Akron as a graduate assistant, moved on to West Virginia Westland 2009 to be an offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach. After that, he went to Pittsburgh to be a graduate assistant there. Um, Indiana after that, offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach. Western Michigan after that, wide receivers coach. So he moved around college football a lot. But then he finally got to the Green Bay Packers in 2014 under Mike McCarthy as an offensive quality control coach. So his first stint in the NFL went pretty good because he got a promotion then to wide receivers coach in 2016, 2017, which if you guys remember, that was around the time that Devontae Adams started breaking out for the first time time. Devontae Adams and uh, Luke Getze actually have a pretty close relationship, which they've talked about, you know, in interviews. So, you know, Devontae Adams being a potential free agent, maybe Luke Getze could lure him to Chicago. That's kind of a long shot, but there's something to look at there. You know, that relationship already exists. So help Devontae Adams, help other receivers have great years there in Green Bay in 2016, 2017. After that year, he went to Mississippi State to be offensive coordinator and wide receivers coach in 2018 under coach Joe Moorhead, who he actually played under uh, while he was a player at Akron. So, you know, played under him and then coached under him as well. I'm um, in 2018 at Mississippi State. They actually had a really good rushing offense that year, guys. Like, one of the top rushing offenses in college football, averaging over 220 rushing yards per game. So had some success there, but then he decided to come back to Green Bay, okay, under coach Matt LaFleur as a quarterback's coach in 2019. Then he got a promotion to offensive uh, pass game coordinator and quarterback's coach in 2020 to 2021. And then... Now he is the next Chicago Bears offensive coordinator. So that's his coaching experience. Let me tell you guys about what type of offense he would run now in Chicago. And to be honest, it's kind of a mystery, right? Because we haven't seen him ever call plays in the past. So we don't know what to actually judge him on. But based on what systems he's worked in and based on what he's, you know, contributed to coaching staffs, according to Matt LaFleur, according to Joe Moorhead, you know, we kind of have somewhat of an idea on what he likes to run and it would be kind of a mix of the Joe Moorhead offense, the Shanahan offense, and maybe his own flair to it on top of that 
too, right? Like it's going to be a totally new system designed all around quarterback Justin Fields. But what you can expect to see is a lot of 11 personnel, a lot of RPOs, a lot of getting Justin Fields outside the pocket, taking advantage of his legs and creating a lot of big plays going down the field. Okay, there's a lot of long, deep developing plays in the Joe Moorhead offense, which is probably you know what Luke Getze will want to run here in Chicago. And like I mentioned, some elements of the Shanahan offense might be present there as well. Okay, pre-snap motion, power runs, play action, stuff like that I feel like will be really beneficial for Justin Fields because we didn't do enough of that under Matt Nagy. I mean, Matt Nagy was trying to fit Justin Fields into the Kansas City mold of like an Alex Smith type of quarterback, which obviously Justin Fields is not Alex Smith, so it failed horribly. But looks like Luke Getze, man, his entire offense will be designed around Justin Fields. An interesting negative information, guys, is that Justin Fields actually wanted to play in the Joe Moorhead offense at Penn State. Okay, he actually committed to Penn State um, to play college football while Joe Moorhead was there as offensive coordinator. But when Joe Moorhead left, he actually decommitted from Penn State to go to Georgia, right? So a lot of these schematic elements already excite Justin Fields. Okay, he wanted to play college football at Penn State because of this offense, which presumably is going to be similar to the one that Luke Getze is going to run so the fit with justin fields guys i feel like it could be pretty good okay this entire playbook should really complement justin fields skills like i mentioned a lot of play action a lot of deep uh passes going down the field which we didn't do enough of last year even though justin fields was one of the most accurate deep passers in all of the nfl during his rookie year so i'm pretty excited to see what luke getsy is going to design with this offense with justin fields again like i've mentioned this entire video he is an unknown though, right? So I can't say too much about him because we don't know that much about Luke Getze, but we do know he was contributing on one of the most successful offenses in the NFL over the past three years. Like the Packers have had one of the best offenses in the NFL during the Matthew LeFleur era, and that's not all because of Aaron Rodgers, guys, okay? If you look at the numbers, the Packers have actually schemed the most amount of wide open passes in the NFL out of any team in the league, okay? They're number one, and... <laughs> By no surprise, guys, Chicago Bears are last on that list. We're number 32. So the scheming in that Packers offense clearly works. They clearly get the receivers open down the field, in the middle of the field, all over the field for Aaron Rodgers. And he's taking advantage of that, you know, year after year, right? Like he's had some of the best years of his career in the math for offense. And Luke Getze also has been a big part of that success. Okay, according to Coach LaFleur, he's been big in uh, designing the third down plays. And the Packers, guys, are top 10 in the NFL in third down conversion percentage over the last three years so the stuff that he's been designing has been working in the system he's been contributing a lot of passing concepts a lot of passing uh, plays as well to this offense and you know Matt LaFleur Aaron Rodgers had nothing but good things to say about this guy especially Aaron Rodgers he's talked a lot about how important that relationship with Luke Getze has been to him okay to help him have those MVP seasons he's had over the past two years so stealing Aaron Rodgers right hand man his probably his favorite coach there in Green Bay makes me pretty happy as a Bears fan okay we're taking away from Green Bay and adding to the Chicago Bears coaching staff and what's you know probably going to be the most important guy on our coaching staff right now so if you ask me guys it's kind of hard to judge this hire right now because again we don't know a whole lot about him so the games when they start are going to tell us what we have to know about this guy but I mean, this guy has been getting head coaching interviews. He already got a head coaching interview with the Broncos. So clearly there's a lot of interest in him around the league. And, you know, coaches and players have nothing but good things to say about this guy as well. So is it risky? Yeah, but is the ceiling ridiculously high? Yeah, it is. And I'll be excited to see what he can do with Justin Fields here in Chicago. So let me know what you guys think about this move in the comments down below. But as always, guys, bear down.